Good morning. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Friday, the last day of the week, the last day of the month, and the last day of meteorological spring. Yes, meteorological summer officially arrives June 1st, and that also starts hurricane season, by the way. Did you know that? We did make it to 78 degrees yesterday in Knoxville, 74 Crossville, 81 Chattanooga, 76 Tri-Cities, so we were trending below average throughout the day yesterday. That's going to change. High pressure shifts off to the southeastern U.S. We're going to see increasing high-level clouds throughout the day today, late in the day anyways, as our next disturbance swings on through. That's going to bring us some scattered light rain showers on Saturday. On Sunday, we'll see another batch of some scattered showers and some thunderstorms swinging their way on through. I think we'll see a little bit better coverage of rainfall as we get into our Sunday. But in the short term, the dew points are staying on the lower side. However, that does change through the weekend and all the way into next week week we'll see those dew points climb back to the 60s and 70s that does a couple things a it adds more moisture to the atmosphere that's a given uh, but it also is going to give us warmer morning low temperatures and also the chance for rain so today increasing high level clouds a touch warmer today thanks to a ridge of high pressure that's dominating saturday increasing scattered light rain showers throughout the day don't cancel any outdoor plans or events sunday a better chance for some rain although it could be a little bit heavier on sunday some models indicating some heavier showers especially closer to chattanooga and then next week a chance for some showers but then a cold front swings through next thursday friday and that will also bring us some drier air as we get into next weekend. So the day ahead of us today, we start off in the 50s. A nice cool start to the day. By lunchtime, we'll see those temps climb into the low 70s. And our goal today is going to be in the upper 70s, two pockets of low to mid 80s. And it's Friday night. And you know me, I love a good old Friday night fire pit night. And tonight's going to be another fantastic night for that. By 7, 8 o'clock tonight, we'll be in the 70s, dropping into the 60s by 9 and low 60s by 10 o'clock here this evening. So a fantastic evening for sure. Enjoy the outdoors today and tonight. Because as we do get into our weekend, we are talking about some increasing chances for rain. So the high clouds will increase as we get into the sunset hour. Should give us a nice sunset this evening. Uh, the clouds will thicken up as we get into our Saturday morning. I don't expect a whole lot of rain to start our Saturday. And I actually don't expect a whole lot of rain through the day on Saturday. There's 7 o'clock in the morning. If you have outdoor plans, morning lows start to come up because we're feeding more moisture into the atmosphere. And so we'll be in the 50s and low to mid 60s. Through the day on Saturday, not a bad day. Temperature wise, we're going to climb back into the upper 70s to low 80s. But as I mentioned, we do have that chance for some scattered light rain showers. So we have a disturbance swinging its way into the area, and that's going to increase those chances for rain through the day on Saturday. But you can clearly see with our model forecast through noon, through three, again, most of the rain is going to be back in the west of middle Tennessee with some scattered light rain showers swinging their way on through, especially late in the day, possibly. But again, just keep an eye on it with the East Tennessee weather app. Check out the latest interactive radar from time to time. As we get into our Sunday, there is the potential for some heavier showers to swing their way on through. This model is not picking up on a whole lot of activity, but the idea is there. So something to kind of keep in mind. If you're planning, I would say Saturday is likely to be the best day as it stands right now. And again, per this model guidance, we're not seeing a whole lot of rain, but I do think that Sunday potentially could change this. And so we'll see what the model runs do throughout the day today. So make sure you check back in today. Make sure you check back in tomorrow as well. Three-day forecast, we're going to stay in the upper 70s to low 80s. So at or slightly below average for the next three days. Uh, but the rain chances do increase as we get into next week as our next waves of energy start to head our way. Now, a ridge is building. Our trough swings its way on out. So seasonable weather is going to be in place, as I just mentioned, through the weekend as our jet stream retreats way to our north. But with that said, we are going to see some disturbances swing out into the area. Let's go back to that map here, uh, to back into the area. And that's going to help to spark off those scattered showers. So again, not a lot of rain expected on Saturday, a little bit more rain on Sunday, but a little bit more of an unsettled weather pattern is going to stick with us. So when you look at rainfall totals through Sunday, uh, they should be on the lighter side, generally speaking. But through next Tuesday, we'll start to see elevated rain chances. And through, say, next Thursday, Friday time frame, we'll see a little bit more. But our seven-day stretch of rainfall still looks to be uh, probably less than an inch of rain. So again, as I mentioned yesterday, I'll mention it again today because this dry weather patterns on the way may be a good idea to, well, uh, start those sprinkler systems up once again if you actually shut those down. Temperature-wise, right around average as we head through the weekend and then above average weather. And you saw those dew points. Remember those dew points are climbing to the 60s and 70s next week? High temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. 
So that's going to lead to heat index values probably upper 80s to near 90 degrees. It also boosts our morning low temperatures back into the 60s through the weekend and next week. So again, as we head into the upcoming weekend, if you have outdoor plans, make sure you check out the latest interactive radar with the East Tennessee Weather app. It's a great tool to have in your back pocket. And download the app from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Why? Because it will send you push notifications if lightning's within 15 miles of your location, uh, which is always a great idea. It's like, oh, wait, wait, maybe I should start paying attention, right? Great tool to have in your toolbox. Have a great Friday and the last day of the month.